Hello and welcome back. So this video is going to be all about my skincare routine. I didn't think I would ever do this video just because not everything works for everybody. Everybody's skin is different, but I thought I would just share the things that I use and maybe it would give, give some people some ideas if you were looking for particular things in particular categories. My skin is combination skin. I get very oily on this bottom part of my face, but my forehead and under my eyes, super, super dry. So that kind of makes it hard to balance that out, especially when you're putting things all over your face. It may only work for parts of your face, so that's a little bit different. Um, also, I am very acne prone in this area, but luckily I very rarely get acne on other parts of my face, but can be pretty bad around my chin, but if I keep up with the products I'm doing, it stays under pretty good control. Also, my primary concern would be anti-aging. Um, I am 33, which I think is very young still. <laughs> Some people may not think that. Um, but I've been doing a lot of these things consistently for a long time. And I really think a lot of it really works. So obviously not everything works for everybody. Everybody's skin is different. Everybody has different needs. I, the number one thing I do is I research ingredients and I buy the products I buy based on the ingredients in them. I have looked at a lot of high-end skincare lines and they have no beneficial ingredients. So I really recommend that you research ingredients in skincare because that's what really matters. Not the brand, not anything else. The ingredients are the most important. So I'm going to split this up into what I do in the morning and what I do in the evening. And I will mention the key ingredients along the way. So here we go. Okay, so in the morning, I'm usually in a hurry. I don't do anything crazy. Basically, all I do is I take one of these makeup wipes. My favorite are the Target brand Evening Calm, and I just wipe away any extra makeup. If I, you know, have a little eyeliner or something like that. And then sometimes I wash my face. Sometimes I'm in a hurry and I just splash water on it. I know, I'm lazy, but I don't, I'm tired in the morning. Um, if I do wash my face, I use this CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. This is my favorite face wash. It says it has ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. I love this. This is my favorite face wash ever. It's about $15, so it's not the cheapest drugstore thing, but it's really good. It's not too drying, so I really like that. And then after that, all I do is I put on a moisturizer with SPF in it. This is the Aveeno Positively Radiant with SPF 30. This is about $13 at Target, roughly around there. The number one most important anti-aging thing to do is to wear sunscreen. So I wear SPF 30 every day, unless I'm going out like swimming or gonna be in the sun for a long time, and then I put on a higher SPF for that. A lot of sunscreens do break me out. This does not. And then also a lot of the Neutrogena ones do not break me out. Oh, here, I have one here. I have the Aveeno, no, this is not Aveeno. This is Neutrogena. This is the Healthy Defense SPF 50. This does not break me out either. So I think wearing sunscreen is super important. It's the most important thing you can do. So I really like this one. Okay, so then after that, I just put on makeup and go about my life. And then when I want to take off my makeup, what I do is, okay, this says it's Mario Badescu, but this is not. This is the Target brand eye makeup remover, the Up and Up. It's one that has, I don't know if you can tell, there's not much left in here, so you can't see, but it's one of those dual layer ones. So basically I spray some on a makeup wipe. I don't like to use a makeup wipe completely by itself because it just doesn't quite get everything off and you have to tug harder. If you spray an eye makeup remover on a makeup wipe, then I mean, it comes off like magic. So I will do that. Target makeup remover with the Evening Calm makeup wipe, my favorites. 
wipe it off and then I do wash my face. I don't like to leave that film of makeup remover. So then I go back to the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. And there you go. This I will say, I if I use two pumps of this, I can even get most of my makeup off with it, eye makeup. It doesn't burn my eyes. Um, it does work better if you use the eye makeup remover first, but this stuff is pretty amazing. If I'm in a hurry, I just use this and get my makeup off. So pretty good. Um, then toning. So people who get acne, some people salicylic acid works for them and some people benzoyl peroxide works. Benzoyl peroxide doesn't work for me and it irritates my skin. So I have to use salicylic acid. This is just the up and up. Clearly I buy a lot at Target. <laughs> it's salicylic acid toner. This does have alcohol in it, so it is drying. So I typically, if I'm breaking out, I try to just put it on there or I try to mostly do it in the lower part of my face, which is the oily part of my face. These days, if I keep up with all these other things, I don't have to use this every day. I did used to have to use this every single day. Otherwise I would get huge breakouts and Luckily, that isn't the case lately, so I probably use this mm, three or four times a week, and I try not to put it on my whole face because it is drying. Okay, so then the other option I have for a toner is a glycolic acid. This is the Pixie Glow Tonic. It's 5% glycolic acid. So glycolic acid has been very drying for me in the past, and I've finally been able to reintroduce it but I really cannot use it more than twice a week. So I will use this instead of the salicylic acid on the days I'm not using that one. Just put it on a cotton pad, wipe away. I really, really like this. And it's not as drying as other glycolics I've used. It all depends on the percentage. So that's what you really have to look at. Um, in the past, I tried 10% and I just think that was too much for the dry parts of my face but this is supposed to have some anti-aging properties, so I am trying to keep doing a glycolic. That one is really good. I do have another one right now that I got in a mini set from Drunk Elephant, and it's the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. This is kind of a gel serum, so when I have tried this, I just did not, I didn't use the Pixie one, and I just used this, and then I continued on with my skincare from there. I like this, but the full size is rather expensive. But I did find out that these minis, so I got a set with, I'll just mention this quickly, the marula oil, and these are each 0.27 fluid ounces, and this was $28. And actually the per fluid ounce is actually cheaper in these little ones than it is in the full size, so that was exciting. But anyway, this does work. I'm not sure it's worth, worth the price tag when the Pixie one works great. Okay, so another beneficial ingredient is vitamin C. I have had a hard time finding a vitamin C because most of them don't work for very long because it is unstable in the light. And I've tried so many vitamin C serums and they weren't doing anything. And then I realized that if they are not in an opaque container, it's going to destabilize and it's not going to be active anymore. So, you know, you can look that up online, but that is how vitamin C works. So this one, I also have a mini of, and I am really enjoying it. I do feel like it works. It's CEO Vitamin C Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. The full size of this is around $80, Sunday Riley, but I got this in a mini set as well, and I do really like it. So it says it's 15% vitamin C and phytotosterols. Um, now I've done some reading about vitamin C, and I've heard that it tends to work better with other ingredients such as ferulic acid. And this does not have that ingredient. But I do feel like this is working. And I think the key to that is this is an opaque container. So please keep that in mind about vitamin C serums. If it's a totally clear bottle like this, it's going to destabilize and it's not going to work. Trust me, I've tried it and I was like, why is this not working? So, And then I discovered that. So I do feel like this Sunday Riley one works. It is very expensive. So I may repurchase this when I run out or I may try something else, but I have a hard time finding vitamin C serums because of this whole opaque container situation. 
Then next is the second most anti-aging ingredient other than sunscreen, and that is retinol products. Please go online and read for yourself about retinol. It's obviously not recommended for everyone. I'm not an expert, don't listen to me, but for me, this has been the most important ingredient other than sunscreen that I feel has kept my skin looking decent. Um, so I have tried a lot, and now I don't know if this is in my head, but I do like to alternate which ones I use because I've noticed if I use the same retinol for two or three months in a row, I feel like it stops working. I think my skin gets used to it. I don't know, I could be making that up, but it's just a theory I've had that I've kind of noticed. So currently I am using this CeraVe Skin Renewing Cream Serum. It's around $18 at Target and it's one fluid ounce. I really like this. Others that I've used are the Neutrogena, um, what's it called, like Night Repair, or something like that, retinol serum. And, you know, there's so many forms of retinol. You know, it's isotretinoin is kind of the main one, but retinol has to be, you know, transitioned into this other one. I'm terrible at explaining it, but I feel it works. So out of all, all of the ones that I've tried, I do feel that they work. It is something you have to use consistently though to see results. I've been using this pretty much every day for years, probably six or seven years, maybe even longer. Um, this one really works. I also like the Neutrogena one. And then another one that I have tried, I don't have here with me, but I do feel it works, is the, it's called Differin Gel, and it's now over the counter, and that was prescription only for acne, and it's a manufactured retinoid product. I think it's called Adapalene. And I have tried that for anti-aging purposes, and I do think that works as well. You can buy that now at Target and Ulta. So I really like those. The one I've wanted to try for a really long time is the Sunday Riley Luna Oil, which is a next generation retinoid oil. So this is very interesting because retinol can be very drying. So I think this is really cool that they put this in an oil. I have been using this tiny little one here that I got in a set from Sephora. This was $28 together. And the per ounce on this, how much is in here? It's not much. I think it's also 0.17, but the per ounce cost of this is less in this tiny one than in the large ones actually. So I'm probably gonna keep repurchasing this because I do really like it. And I do like to have two retinols like I mentioned to kind of alternate. So yeah, I do use eye cream. Some people say that eye cream doesn't work and it doesn't do anything and that you should just use all your other skincare products around your eyes. And in the morning I do that. I use that same Aveeno, I just put that around my eye area too and it doesn't cause problems. But I have very dry under eyes and I need a very, very moisturizing eye cream and I have tried a lot and none of them worked, but this one does. It's the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado, if you can see it. It is in a jar, it's kind of green in color. I've been using this for oof, seven or so years and it is so moisturizing, but it doesn't clog the pores. I love this, so I do use this at night. I think if you have really, really dry under eyes, you probably don't want to be using, you know, drying products under your eyes. And, you know, but if you don't have super dry under eyes, you may not need an eye cream, but I feel that I do. Okay, and then the last step is a facial oil. And I have a few right now that I do like. Um, so I put a facial oil on, on my whole face, sometimes even also on the under eye as a final kind of lock in step. Sometimes if my skin is feeling really dry, I'll skip all the acids and the retinol and all of that. And I'll just do an oil. So this is one I really love. This is the Botanics Nature Inspired 100% Organic oil with rosehip, and it has other oils too. It's not just rosehip oil. 
but I really love this. This also is at Ulta and Target. It's around $17. This may be one of my favorite oils. It really sinks in and it's really, really nice. So I've repurchased this multiple times and I would repurchase it again. Now for a super expensive one that I mentioned earlier I got in that little minis kit is the Virgin Marula Oil from Drunk Elephant. This I really, really like. It sinks in, it's so moisturizing. So I would definitely consider repurchasing this, but it is very expensive. And that other one I mentioned is very good for $17. So we'll see. Now, another one I've repurchased many times is this Shea Moisture 100% Pure Argon Oil. And I used to be a total Argon Oil diehard. I've gone through three of these before and I've tried the Josie Mare and the Physician's Formula. To me, they're all the same. If the main ingredient, I mean, the only ingredient is Argon Oil in all of those. So to me, they're the same. They're all the same ingredient. Um, so this really works. I really do like it, but I've noticed lately that Argon Oil, no matter which brands I've tried, it doesn't sink in as much as that other one I mentioned or the Marula. So it leaves the skin feeling a bit more oily, but doesn't clog my pores or anything, but it just feels a bit more oily. So because of that, I may be not repurchasing Argon Oil once I finish this, but I do really like it and I've used it for years but I'm just maybe finding that other oils are a little bit better. Okay, so that is what I use for skincare. It kind of seems like a lot, but I don't always do all of those things every single day. But I do feel that it helps. You know, everybody's skin is different. Don't take my word for it. I'm not an expert. This is just what I use. But just if you only take away one thing from my video, is that you should research the ingredients. Don't just buy the products other people mention search for the ingredients when you're buying a skincare item read the label see what's in there because that's what matters the ingredients not the brand there are high-end brands out there that have nothing but just like mineral oil in them which tends to clog people's pores so keep that in mind read the back of the labels do your own research on skincare I don't think you have to spend a million dollars on skincare. Most of these products, as you saw, are a drugstore that I use, and I think they work great. So yeah, that is my video. Please let me know if you know other products that are great or what you use for skincare. I'm really curious, and thank you for watching.